like data running through my veins Got you distracted, subconscious overloaded Careful, don't pull the cord on me Still trying to smile, but I think it's a little bit of a fake smile this morning. So today is travel day. How's travel day been so far? Uh, very. Absolutely rubbish. Rubbish travel day. Not really filmed anything. So we got to the terminal, probably got to check in, probably about 10 to 8. It took us an hour and 50 minutes to check in into the premium priority check-in. Premium priority. Economy passengers that joined the queue at the same time we did, arrived at the airport at the same time we did, probably checked in about 40 minutes before we did. Then we had priority access through security. Yeah, that was great until they tried to do triple screening on all our bags. And that took forever because there was no staff. Multiple baggage system failures. Now we're racing to the gate. We've only managed to stop for a week and get some water and that's it. We're hungry, I'm hangry. I need my Prosecco when I get on that plane, that's for sure. I am so hungry. Are you? Yeah, very hungry. Very, very hungry. Let's hope that this service is, good. is exceptional. Yes. Otherwise, I'll be tap, 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 tapping on that keyboard. I'm tired and hungry. I'm running to the gate because it looks like our flight's boarding. We will catch you in a bit. So we weren't boarding, we're still waiting. They are, have just started to board the aircraft um, from the back to the front. So those people with upper class and premium economy tickets have all been asked to wait till the end. It's just quite funny really, the only time we ever travel premium, really. And we have to wait for everything. Anyway, you right? Get up. Yes. Fed up. Um, the flight should have left 10 minutes ago, and like I said, we've only just started boarding. So we are going to have a slight delay on it, but the aircraft came in late, so it is, what it is what it is. We'll see you on the plane. Finally on the plane. Cheers. Yeah, he's got water. Cheers. Like, it's not neat gin. No. And relax. So we are finally pushing back. Finally. Finally. Almost two hours late, but we're finally going. Two hours late, but looking good. Like, I'm looking totally great. But how cool is this view? That is definitely the coolest camera.
drinks and snacks have arrived. Some pretzels, and it's gotta be an aviation gin. Have you got Coca Cola? Dinner has arrived. I have gone for the salmon in a cream cheese sauce with mashed potato, which I think is under a nice bread roll, some butter. I think it's a blue wheat salad. We didn't get a menu given to us. And then I think from what I read is a passion fruit. Cheese. That's why. David's gone for the chicken. So dinner was really quite nice actually. Did you like your dinner? It's good actually, better than I thought it was. Yeah. Would be. I devoured my salmon. I don't know if it was just pure hunger or it was actually really nice, but I really, really, really enjoyed it. The pudding, passion fruit I think. Like I said, we didn't get a menu, so I think that's what it was. Just because I've seen lots and lots of vlogs. Um, just give us a chocolate pudding or a chocolate brownie. That'd be better, wouldn't it? Chocolate pop. Yeah. The economy chocolate one, podding, podding, podding. How many gins you on there? I've had one gin and tonic and one glass of wine. Um, yeah, the food was lovely. Um, the kids seemed to enjoy it as well, but I did bring Harry a Greg sausage roll as well, so he has eaten that. Why not? Um, watching films, I'm just going to chill, and I'm probably going to try and get some sleep. Are you? Yeah. Definitely going to try and get some sleep because I am so quite tired now. Tired now. But it's travel day! Are we really there yet? Uh, no. Ugh. At least the sun's out. Sun's out, gun's out. No? I was trying to focus then. <laughs> Try it again. There hey. we go. How amazing are those windows on this plane? We're travelling on the A350? Yep. Yeah, you got it right. The windows are huge! Mahusu. Gonna get back to my film, which is a little bit weird, but get back to that and then maybe have a sleep. And then wait Ooh, for cream tea. Do it again. You big furry of sitting away. Sorry guys. So we're about three hours into the flight and I just wanted to show you the uh, premium economy seat configuration. So the actual seat itself has got loads of micro room. David is about five foot ten, so he's actually got a massive amount of like room there available. You've got a big TV. I'm sure David will insert the um, diameters and pitch of the TV. And the TV entertainment system is really amazing. It's got touchscreen capabilities, lots of movies to watch. It's really efficient on the say 350 not like the older aircraft that Virgin have got. It's very animal sensitive. Yeah, it reacts well. Reacts well, yeah. So there's lots of different options. Obviously you've got tail cab, which is one of our favourite features on board. Obviously you've got the standard map that we all use. Obviously that's the nose wheel, which is just there, which is better for take off and landing. And you've got lots of movies. option to have a split screen so you can actually have two images at once and then move that around the screen like that. How cool is that? So now David is loading the map but also you can, you can watch the videos and you can have the different view on there so you can take that. On the first screen you could have your movie and on the second screen you can have whatever you want. There is also pairing. So David can actually pair his phone. Control system by his phone. That is a cool feature. Now David has paired his device and he can actually navigate and control the screen by his phone. How cool is that? That's a great feature. I can't be bothered setting that up though. You can also turn on the light as well. No, you can't. Yeah, that didn't work. 
our errors, it didn't work. Oh, never mind. So on here you have different features, like this one's just for your light, you have a call bell for the um, stewardesses, it's not in your seat back in the side of your chairs or anything like that at the minute. We have got USB. USB. And that's the port of your headphones. There is also another port of your headphones down here. This is a separate storage compartment which can lift up like this. And you also, oh, thank you for the light. And you also have a USB charging port down there. And in here, you also have, oh, sorry for the camera, got a plug socket down here. USB, um, two plug sockets down here as well. You have a footrest. And this is your tray table. It's over engineered, but we like it. You got the half table and the full table. Of those messy people. It goes close to the body. Just fits me. Yeah, just fits you. It's got a headrest up here, which obviously comes in and out. And then the seat reclines. Look, we'll show me the recline features. There we go. <laughs> Kids not impressed with that though. That's the recline features. So the actual seats are really, really cool. Loads and loads of leg room, really comfy. And lots of gad gadgets and gizmos. Really impressed with it. I love the window though. Yeah, window is phenomenal. They are huge. Ah, I can't see. Bright light, can't see. Two big, huge windows. That's some sort of sandwich. Not sure what it is. Hot scone. Oops. We've got some lovely cakes. An amazing cup of black coffee. We're hitting some tablings right now, so that's not great. And I've got some glass of water. This is lovely and warm. I can't wait to try this. I'm not even going to ask. It's cream then jam. minutes to London and we can see the coast of Florida just out of our window. It's so exciting! Tail cam is such a cool feature. So I've got this one on the nose cone we've got the tail cam over there so we are still coming slowly into land it's been a little bit of a slow descent into Orlando just due to the storms that he has been look see out the window the pilot has really been taking his time to try and avoid the storm for us and he goes <laughs> I can see the runway. It's raining. It's raining? Yeah. Oh no. It's raining. Never mind. It's
It's the carpet, we've arrived. Thank you, Blaine. Thank you, First Lady. Thank you. you are amazing. Oh, it's really warm. So it's about 10 o'clock UK time, 5 p.m. Orlando time. Let's get through customs. We have arrived. We are here. We have got all our bags. And what happened with our bags? Uh, they all came out at exactly the same time. Well, good. four out of five. Exactly one after the other. That has <laughs> never happened in. Got them. Yep, we've got the cases. We're just waiting for the monorail. It's so excited. It's coming now, and we will be getting on the monorail any minute. And we're here, we're through. We're in the amazing airport tunnel that is the hotel. There is the fountains and the pizza shop and the carpet that you can't pull your bags on we have arrived it's amazing and then you get there we go there we've got it the big 50th wall how amazing oh, look at this door look at that harry look at the big sign animal kingdom Oh, cool, like a hotel. I harsh harsh lighting and the tired weary face it's been a long day so we are finally here at the Hilton Signia Bonnet Creek or Signia Hilton Bonnet Creek is what it's called um, I'm gonna do a room tour we have got a qu double queen size what's it called two queen size beds basically so you come in we're on the eighth floor it, it's got loads of space bathroom to the left big bathroom big mirror loggers wave tired weary faces nice vanity unit separate mirror one sink you've got a bath but a small bath shower nice tiling not too bad you've got loads of space through here We've got a wardrobe with an iron um, and a shelf up here, which is fabulous. Then you've got two huge beds. One here, over here, looks like Harry's chosen already because Grogu is there. Nice bedside table with one large drawer. Ah, that's sneaky. It looks like two drawers, but there isn't. USB and that looks like a clock. We've got a David. Not sponsored. Not sponsored by Signia at all. Nice. Model in the chair over there. A little table. Nice little lounge corner. And a huge workspace area with a huge, huge telly. Massive telly. More storage here. Another couple of drawers. I assume there's going to be one for each of us. We've got a safe here. Ice bucket a fridge and through here is the adjoining room so we say hello to everybody else and we've got a king size room in here that bed is for one person it's huge oh 
forgot. It's a coffee machine. Okay. <laughs> we have more plugs than USBs. Okay, David is finding all the plugs. More. I assume this is going to be a laptop workstation. And this is going to be my station. Not sure of the plans now. We're all thirsty. We're all hungry. I want to go swimming. You want to go swimming. Okay. Well, I'm not sure what we're doing. It's about seven o'clock US time, so it's actually getting quite late. I'm not sure what to do now. So we'll catch you in a bit and take you with us. Hi. Good evening. Good morning. I'm not really sure what time of day it is. Any idea? No. It's a quite a considerable amount of time later. Um, I did the room tour, we've unpacked and then we went to McDonald's, got some dinner and went to Publix, picked up a few drinks. Wowzers, that place is expensive. But that's probably a story for a different day. And now we are all exhausted. So it's 10 o'clock at night here actually in Orlando which is two o'clock in the morning UK time, is it? To three, three, that's four, that's three. Three o'clock in the morning in the UK. We have all been up for a very long time. Travel day was meh. Travel day was really disappointing for me today. Lots and lots of bad things went wrong and just, yeah, it wasn't the same travel day, but we're here and that's the main thing. For me, travel day has always been one of my favourite days. I love just checking in, going to the airport, having a look around, going shopping, just browsing. Yeah, I couldn't do any of that this time. So major queues at check-in, major queues at security, extra baggage screening. Then obviously we waited at the gate for ages, got on board, waited on the plane for ages until it took off. The only good thing Obviously we were in premium, which was great. The service was exceptional. The crew were fantastic. A few griping niggles from myself. No menu. And also no amenity kit. And I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be amenity kit. But the service was exceptional. Um, Vicky um, was the main server in our area, the main cabin crew, and she was fantastic. Um, yeah, she was brilliant. And then we checked, got through security and immigration all in about 55 minutes from landing. So that was amazing. Our bags came out one after the other after the other. Fantastic. I'm rambling. We're tired. We're heading off to Magic Kingdom in the morning. So come and watch tomorrow as well. If you like this vlog, please give us a big thumbs up. Leave any comments down below and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.